Hi, second graders. Uh, today I wanted to finish the rest of Mercy Watson to the Rescue by Kate DiCamillo. Uh, last time I left off, Mercy was meeting with the Lincoln sisters and we did not know if she was actually gonna get help uh, for the Watsons or not. Remember, the Watsons are still stuck in their bedroom. So as I read today, I want you to think, uh, make a prediction right now. What do you think Mercy is gonna do? Is she going to be successful getting some help for the Watsons or is she just going to act like a fun pet? All right, I'm gonna keep on reading the rest of the story now. I'm up to chapter seven over here. Eugenia ran toward Mercy. Mercy's heart beat faster. There was going to be a chase. Mercy loved a chase. She let Eugenia get very close to her. Oink, said Mercy, dashing away. Get out of my yard, shouted Eugenia. Oink, oink, said Mercy. She ran in circles. She kicked up her heels. No pigs allowed, Eugenia shouted. Oh, sister, said Baby, please be careful. A siren wailed. A fire truck pulled into the Lincoln sisters' driveway. Ned and Lorenzo got out of the truck. Do you think that's the emergency? Ned asked. Could be, said Lorenzo. Ned and Lorenzo sighed. You never know with this job, said Lorenzo. You're right, said Ned. You never know. Chapter 8. Ma'am, said Lorenzo to Baby, did you call the fire department? Oh dear, said Baby, I did not, but Eugenia may have called. Who's Eugenia, asked Ned. My sister, said Baby. Is that her, asked Lorenzo, the one chasing the pig? Yes, said Baby, that's her. Baby and Ned and Lorenzo watched Eugenia chasing Mercy through the yard. Lorenzo cleared his throat. <clears throat> what was the emergency exactly, asked Ned. I thought I saw a monster at my bedroom window, said Baby, but it wasn't it. It wasn't a monster, it was Mercy. Mercy, said Lorenzo. The pig, said Baby, the pig who lives next door. I see, said Ned. Eugenia does not care for Mercy, said Baby. In her opinion, pigs belong on farms. There's something to be said for that opinion, said Lorenzo. Ned nodded. Help, shouted a faraway voice. Help, help, help us. Did you hear that, asked Ned. Somebody is in trouble, said Lorenzo. Let's go. Chapter 9. Ned and Lorenzo ran toward the call for help. They were went into the Watsons' house. Help! Ned and Lorenzo looked up. They saw a bed hanging out of the ceiling. They saw Mr. and Mrs. Watson holding on to the bed for dear life. Hmm. We are saved, cried Mrs. Watson. Of course we're saved, said Mr. Watson. Mercy has alerted the fire department. She's amazing, said Mrs. Watson. She's unbelievable. She is a porcine wonder, said Mr. Watson. Ned and Lorenzo ran upstairs. They picked up Mr. and Mrs. Watson. The Watson's bed sighed loudly and crashed all the way through the floor. So in this part of the story, it's kind of funny because the Watsons think that Mercy called the fire department. But did she call the fire department? Hmm. Boom! Mr. Watson looked at the hole where the bed used to be. I've always believed very firmly in the fire department, said Mr. Watson. As have I, said Mrs. Watson. As have I. From outside the Watson's house came a squall. A squeal. Gotcha, shouted Eugenia. Chapter 10. Ned and Lorenzo and Mr. and Mrs. Watson all went outside. Eugenia was sitting on the ground. Her arms were wrapped around Mercy's neck. Her cheek was resting on Mercy's back. Eugenia was breathing very loudly. <sighs> this pig, she said, was on my property. We'd prefer that you did not call her a pig, said Mrs. Watson. 
We would prefer that you call her a porcine wonder, said Mr. Watson. After all, she did save us. She is a hero. She's a pig, said Eugenia. She started to cry. There, there, sister, said Baby. She bent over and patted Eugenia on the back. How do you think Eugenia is feeling right now? And why do you say that? Mercy yawned. She was very tired. I guess that's it, said Ned. Yep, said Lorenzo. Our work here is done. Wait, said Mrs. Watson. It's almost time for breakfast. Oink, asked Mercy. That's right, breakfast, said Mrs. Watson. She kissed the top of Mercy's head. She looked up at the fireman. Do you boys like toast? Chapter 11. In the wood, in the Watson's house, around the Watson's kitchen table, sat Eugenia Lincoln and baby Lincoln, and Mr. Watson and Mrs. Watson, and Ned and Lorenzo. At Mercy, of course, she was at the head of the table in the seat of honor. And in front of her, on her favorite blue plate, was a very tall stack of hot, buttered toast. A toast to Mercy, said Mr. Watson, holding up his glass of orange juice. A toast to our darling, our dear, said Mrs. Watson. A toast to Mercy said baby. And here they are holding up their glasses, celebrating Mercy. So they're toasting her. In my opinion, said Eugenia, pigs should not be toasted. In my opinion, pigs do not belong at the kitchen table. To our hero, said Mr. Watson. Where would we be without Mercy? Yes. And where, said Mr. Yes, yeah, said Mrs. Watson. Who would have saved us? I can't imagine, said Ned. Me neither, said Lorenzo. They all clink glasses. Mercy had another piece of toast. Outside the Watson's house, the sun was rising. First, the sun was red, and then it was orange. It rose higher and higher inside the Watson's house. Mercy was lying on the couch. She was getting ready to take a nap. Bright, bright is the morning sun, sang Mr. and Mrs. Watson together. But brighter still as our poor scene wonder. Mercy smiled. She closed her eyes. She was asleep before Mr. and Mrs. Watson even finished the song. And that's the end of the first book in the series, Mercy Watson to the Rescue. Now that I finished reading the first book, I wanted you to tell yourself a few things. So the first thing I want you to do is try to retell the story with the most important parts. So you would say first, next, then, finally. All right, after you do that, I want you to think, what was your favorite part of the story? So you're gonna tell yourself, my favorite part of the story is, hmm, because. So you have to give a reason, all right? And then the last thing I want you to think is, would you recommend this book to other people? So you're gonna tell yourself, I would recommend this book because, hmm, um, or I would not recommend this book because, hmm. So when you think of reasons why you wanna recommend the story, you can think, I think it's a very funny book, or you can think about the characters in the story, why you like the story. And so you can share your sentences uh, with somebody at home, or you can just say them out loud right now. All right, I hope you enjoyed our first read aloud book together, Mercy Watson to the Rescue. Um, in the back of this book, there are a few pictures of all of the other books to come. So you can take a look. We have six books in the series. So next week, I'll start another book and I'll read half of it. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.